What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about rep tempo and why it is important for your training. Often when we're talking about programming and training we look at reps, we look at sets, we look at the overall volume, we look at periodization, lots of different things but one thing that gets overlooked regularly is tempo and it's actually really really critical to your overall training. So let me just quickly explain Explain, 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 does that sound right? So let me just quickly explain what I mean by rep tempo and how you often see it written. It's usually kind of in a brackets after the rep range given for an exercise. And it will usually come in the form of four numbers. These four numbers refer to the four different stages of a dynamic movement. For example, let me use a push up to explain this to you. First number refers to the eccentric or the elongation phase of a movement. So in the push-up, this is going to be moving from that front support position down into the bottom of a push-up position. This then brings us on to the second number, which is the isometric contraction in that elongated position. So that's going to be in that bottom position. The third number refers to the concentric or the contraction, the shortening of the muscle. So this is going to be when you're pushing up from that bottom position back up into the original top position. And then the final number refers to the isometric contraction in the contracted position, so at the top of that push-up. For example, a rep using a 3-0-X-1 tempo would look like a three-second eccentric, no pause at the bottom, explosive concentric, one second pause at the top, repeat for the rep range. You probably have seen this mentioned in the Bodyweight Warrior program. I talk about it as a manipulation when you're doing your sets and reps. If you want the program, it's in the description down below. Let me give you a few details of why rep tempo is important. So what rep tempo does, and actually assigning a rep tempo does, is it takes that random nature out of your training. When we train and we rock up, usually at the gym, we're like, okay, I'm doing three sets of eight reps on this exercise, and we go and do it. It actually gets a little bit random, and the stimulus that you get from each set can differ depending on how much time under tension you're spending, etc. It's just the variables are a lot higher than if we say, right, I'm doing three sets of eight reps, and I'm going to use a... 2-0-X-1 rep tempo. What this is going to do is this is going to take the randomness out of your training and it's going to give you a little bit more consistency but additionally it's also going to make you more aware of the movements that you're performing. Because you're not just think counting the reps and going through the motions, you're thinking about how you're performing each stage. You're just being more aware of that movement. This is going to help with muscle activation, mind-muscle connection and hopefully improve your performance in that movement. A study in the European Journal of Applied Physiology looked at the difference between heavy fast training, which is probably the easiest way to get that higher threshold motor unit sort of recruitment, and then they also looked at slow light training. As expected, the heavy fast group got the most strength benefits, which is how you should train if you want to build strength, but by using a slower tempo and a lighter weight and pushing more towards failure, there was actually some significant strength development in that lighter group. So where this is useful is that if you're always doing the same kind of training, your body kind of does get used to it. Obviously this is going to depend, some people need to vary their training more than others. But by simply changing your rep tempo, you can do the exact same workout and produce a completely different response with your body. So now for some advice about how you can take this into your training. I think as a general rule of thumb, if you want to build strength, then generally going heavier and trying to be fast and explosive is generally considered the best way to go when it comes to building strength. However, adding a controlled aspect using rep tempo to some of these more explosive movements can be very beneficial. When I was training the one-arm chin-up and the handstand push-up, I found that yes, making that concentric, that contracting of the muscle as explosive as possible was useful, but adding a slower eccentric phase to the movement actually helps build up more awareness and more control through that range of motion. It's also a great way of increasing the difficulty of an exercise without adding weight. So for example, say your max set of push-ups that you can do is 20 reps and you're just doing that as fast as possible in an explosive manner. Now try and do a push-up with a rep tempo of say a four second eccentric and a four second concentric. If you actually stick to that four second, four second, I doubt you'll be able to get past eight, maybe 10 reps if you can get 20 reps as your max attempt. So this is a really nice way of adding more difficulty, more 
challenge to your movements if you don't have weights at home or you're training outside and you don't have access to make an exercise more challenging. Simply doing it slower can do that for you. And as I mentioned earlier from the st study that I gave as an example, you can still get a good amount of strength and adaptation benefit from that. So that's kind of it guys, that is rep tempo in a nutshell. I think it's really important, it's something I try to take into every single one of my training days, every single one of my exercises or sets, because I think it is so important to be aware of what you're doing in the gym. Quality is more important than quantity. But if you have any questions about rep tempo or anything I've talked about in this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below and ask away and I'll do my best to answer. Or you can join the Facebook group with over 1,500 other warriors and get your questions answered and just join the community there. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you want to help out a friend, also share this video and help the channel out. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace. Thank you.